So I kind of went to them, you know, to hear your peers speak, and it's exciting, but you know, you want to be out there, you want to take pictures. Um, so you see, we're right on the water, and it's this is an eclectic where it has Art Deco elements and it has, uh, so it looks like the breakers though. And um, we're missing the, the name, I think is in the next one, the architects, but it's 1930, here we go. Hotel Massey now at night, McKim, Mead, and White. They're from New York. These were New York architects. Uh, Art Deco, Moorish, Hitch. We know that the Lentworth Playhouse before it was torn down was Moorish Deco. When it was built in 1925, our oldest building on the Art Deco registry, and then September 16, 1928, when the hurricane tore it down, we have the more streamlined version. Your city hall across the street, Moorish. You know, they say it's Mediterranean revival, but when did you ever see a mosque in Mediterranean revival? Getting back to Cuba. Um, this picture I took at night. And now I walk around the hotel at night. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Not so many people out, thank God. And now I can get a picture of the lobby, which is you know more Spanish and beautiful. Um, quite charming. And my elevator, my elevator was right here and had a very convenient room and the, the restaurant was right there. And I, had, I was very convenient. But look at the terrazzo floor and uh, just lovely. Here it is at night. This is facing the uh, beach. So this is the outside patio. Drinks, mojitos with every meal. And when you bought them before on your own, um, it would be $5. So people were drinking before dinner, but every lunch and every dinner, they gave us three drinks. So it could be two mojitos and a wine, or a lot of drinks. Uh, but here I am at night, and I run into this group. Like, okay, it's like, okay, oh, I'll take a picture of you if you take a picture of me. Oh, what are you doing here, Michelle? Oh, well, I'm president of the Art Deco Society, and we're architecture. Oh, you had today as architect. His father, he's a doctor. This is uh, Dr. Ernesto. And his father's an architect. And there's something called the Paladanus. And we had two free nights on our own to have dinner, Saturday and Sunday. And a Paladanus is, uh, they're now allowing the last three months, private homes make a restaurant. And you can earn a little money. And I saw this on, did you watch the uh, WLRN uh, public radio? It's called Cuba's Secrets Part 1 and 2. There's a two hour special on uh, 2, 6, or 18, whatever the public channels. And they had a man lowering down a basket from his house, and you, you put your order in, and then he puts the pizza, and you put the money. <laughs> and so I knew like something about this, which I did see one time though, in the bus they were lowering that. But um, what happens in these paladanas, like the restaurant that we had lunch the first day, how could there be a restaurant if you're not allowed to own anything, right? So what it is, is in that old Havana area, they're allowing restaurants and the money they make builds the infrastructure in the courtyard. There's no taxes. So there's no developers. So if the road needs paved, who pays it? Right? Here we raise taxes, you pay your share, and then they come and they pave the road. So they're really hurting because there's no money. And once it opens up, all the money will flood in and they'll build and they'll tear everything down. And this is the problem. Anyway, so I said, which Paladera should I go to? They gave us the choice. So he says, oh, no, 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 you come to my house for dinner. Sunday. OK. Sunday. So this is Friday night. OK. So this is Ernesto. And that's his brother. This is a friend and his wife. And this is the cab driver, <laughs> which is probably a friend of him. Carlos. Okay. Right across rights. Now we're in the morning. It's two, that was two o'clock in the morning now. I wake up in the morning. I don't want to go hear lectures. I don't want to hear other people speak. I'm tired. I want to go search it. Plus, I had to buy water. You've got to have water. So I went to the market to buy water. And right across from that hotel, there's another Art Deco hotel. Later on, I found out one of our friends, Randy Jester, a famous photographer of Art Deco, he never has any money. And he's always crashing somewhere. So he kind of crashed our Congress because he didn't pay. And he stayed at the hotel across the street. He was smart. Anyway, I got pictures of this later, inside. Oh, OK, well, that was a little bridge. Can't go back. These are very famous. These kind of little bulbous patios with the diamond shape. Um, and, uh, and on top is the eyebrow, which is the flat linear plane that we know so well in Art Deco. I didn't 
I'm proud of Oh, I have hundreds of pictures of dogs, and they all had diseases, and they all were sick, and I wouldn't even take the really bad pictures. But they're so great. And I went to the market, and I bought this necklace. There was a market right there. Who knew? She has it in the hand. And look, they copied all the American art. There was like copies of Brito's. Oh, here they are. We know Romero Brito from uh, uh, Brazil, but he's on Lincoln Road, and, and they had copies of Brito's. And here was that area at night where I met Ernesto closer to the water. Here's the terrazzo floor, and of course, the lovely Cuba. And there I am on the camp. <laughs> and here we are at lunch. Mm -hmm. I got on the bus, and they took us finally to have some Cuban food, because it's a tourist menu. You know, when you're the tourist, you're, you're giving me chicken and not chicken. Uh, so here we are at El Ajibe, and of course there's cigars, and everywhere you go, people are smoking. Little kids are smoking, you know, in the restaurant, and you can smoke anywhere, there's no age, no limit. You're just not allowed to bring home any cigars. Okay, now we take you to a, a movie theater, an Art Deco movie theater. Here you see they hung the banner for our, our Congress. And uh, here we are inside. Oh, God, this was one of these Mayan. We always say Art Deco is Mayan, Aztec, Japanese, all the geometric arts. This was like out of a Frankenstein, Dracula kind of movie. Um, you know, the Egyptian mummy kind of things. And uh, you know, it's not like they went to the store and bought the reproduction, right? It's, this is the real chair. There are sort of mummy CD, all these kind of uh, Mayan, uh, lovely Art Deco elements. And this was a little out of focus for sure. This was uh, towards the stage and tile work, and they showed us a film. This was the screen of the girl, the tall model. They showed us the two minute you know, video. They, they showed that a lot. And then they would have the speaker uh, talking about the theater. Very educational. Oh, there she is. There's the video with her in it. And steps going up, murals on the ceiling. And uh, you know everybody dresses up, so everyone you know they're always stopping for the perfect photo op because they know everyone's going to shoot them. They come with trunks of clothing. This this Art Deco Congress, you know, and they pay extra for it. A lot of baggage. Okay, after that they took us to the American Theater uh, for a dance performance, and this is the building. Huge, beautiful, it's probably an office building, but the ground floor is the Performing Arts Center. And this is the tile work out there. And inside, you know, it's America, so again, with the Americas, and there's all the zodiacs around here, of which I did. I'm showing you the Aquarius, I'm in January. There's my water bearer. Beautiful. And upstairs and all the old drawings. This place was amazing. The staircases and the lamps. It's like a Radio City musical. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stylized women, beautiful, minimal. The ceiling. One side was I think the men's room and one side was the ladies' room. Beautiful. And this is Bruce from Sacramento. And I look at Bruce, and he looks at me, and he says, want to see ballet? Want to walk with me? I'm like, let's get out of here. <laughs> so with that, we're going to see. I divided this up into three sections, because the file was very big. How are we doing for time right now? Just curious. Perfect. I'm right on task. All right, so we're going to close this out. End of show, click to exit. And we're just going to go open the second file. Um, and Cuba 2. And from the beginning. Wow. See what good organization we have? <laughs>